Welcome back to another Centennial Tidbit, where today we're talking with the President General of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Mrs. Denise Van Buren, and about their involvement with the Society and the Centennial of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in 2021. Now, President, Madam President General, uh, can you <laughs> give us a, a brief overview of what the Daughters of the American Revolution is? Let me begin by actually thanking you and the entire society, those who guard the tomb of the unknown soldier. We're so grateful for what you do on behalf of our nation and, and what the tomb symbolizes. So it's a good example of what DAR is actually all about. We were founded in 1890. We're a women's lineal society. So we have to all be descendants of those who achieved American independence during the American Revolution but we're so much more than that. We're actually a women's service organization, one of the largest and certainly one of the most active in the world. Uh, since 1890, we have been focused on three aims. Those have never changed. They are historic preservation, education, and patriotism. And so the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier so beautifully illustrates what our society is all about, uh, thanking those who have served, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice, and also educating our uh, future generations about the importance of sacrifice and courage on behalf of our American nation. Let me just share, if I might, a little bit about uh, our society itself. We have more than 185,000 women who are involved in today's DAR. Uh, we have nearly 3,000 chapters, not only here in all of the 50 states, but actually in several foreign countries as well. Ours is a very dynamic organization. We have about 40 active committees. And I like to say that we have something for everyone in today's DAR, everything from conservation and service to veterans to uh, welcoming new citizens and tutoring literacy for those uh, for whom English is a second language. Uh, we have so many opportunities to serve that we attract really vibrant, engaged, passionate women who love our country and who love their fellow citizens and are looking for opportunities to make meaningful differences in their local communities. Now, the DAR has a long history when it comes to their involvement with the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Can you give a, a little insight into that? Sure, I'd, I'd be very proud to do so. Uh, since the very beginning, the Daughters of the American Revolution has been supportive of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Um, in 1921, on Armistice Day, we participated in the initial ceremonies. We laid initially a wreath at the United States Capitol and then we participated the following day in the procession that wound its way to Arlington Cemetery for the actual dedication itself. Uh, an interesting tidbit, um, five seats were reserved for our officers uh, at the very dais uh, at that original dedication ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, but you should know that the crowds were so great that day. There were so many Americans who were so supportive of what you were doing that our ladies literally could not even make their way through the crowd to, to sit in those five seats. So that should give you some uh, idea as to the crowd that assembled there in those inaugural ceremonies. I'm also proud to say that every single year since we have returned and our president general, whoever it has been uh, during the more than a century uh, that we've been doing this, uh, has had the honor of placing a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in Arlington National cemetery. We're proud to do it. We think it's important to do it. And we're grateful to the, uh, to the guards and to our nation for offering Americans like us a place where we can go and pay due and proper respect to those who gave their lives on behalf of our nation, but who also uh, lie in graves uh, which are scattered around the face of the globe. Um, you know, those whose remains were not re reinterred here in the United States because they couldn't be identified. It's such an important thing to do as citizens, and we're grateful that you afford us the privilege of every year placing a wreath at Arlington. Well, I know that it's been a few years since I had the uh, distinct opportunity to address not only you, but your uh, national officers there at the DAR headquarters, which is an amazing building. And, and on behalf of the society, I have to say that, that I'm, I'm very pleased and happy that we are partnering with the Daughters of the American Revolution uh, to bring attention to the history of the unknown soldiers, each one of them throughout the years, and, and why this monument is so incredibly important to so many Americans. Uh, can we talk about some of the different ways that the DAR is engaging with the society to help get word out about the centennial? Certainly. 
So let's begin at our complex in Washington, D.C. We own the most valuable piece of real estate owned by women anywhere in the world. It's a full block in the heart of our nation's capital where we operate a genealogical library, a, a world-class museum, but we also house a 4,000-seat auditorium, DAR Constitution Hall. And so we are at your service to work with you in any way that we might be able to offer our facilities to help engender more public awareness about the centennial of the tomb. Uh, we stand ready to partner with you in whatever you might need in that respect. But as you move out from the heart of our nation's capital, you actually find the real magic of DAR wherever our chapters are located. So our ladies are very um, ready, willing, and able to be uh, marking the centennial in their local communities and importantly, raising awareness within those communities about the centennial and why it's so important that we as Americans remember the unknown soldiers. So here's just a few examples of the way that we intend to participate across that network of 3000 chapters. Uh, first and foremost, we have selected the centennial of the tomb of the unknown soldier to be our American history essay contest theme. We have run this contest for decades. It uh, annually attracts more than 40,000 entries from students in grades uh, five, six, seven, and eight across the United States. And so we're excited that we'll be focusing all of those students' attention, all those educational resources on this important centennial observance. Our chapters will also be encouraged to have presentations and to stage public gatherings in their communities to mark the centennial. Everything from having speakers, uh, guard representatives come out and speak to them, or perhaps uh, presentations on the history of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and Arlington National Cemetery in general, uh, but also uh, placing reeds in their own local communities to remember the unknown soldiers from wherever they are in communities large and small across the United States. We're, we're also looking into additional opportunities where we can serve, perhaps planting some gardens in honor of the centennial of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. We are a, a very organized and very passionate group of women, and I assure you that 2020 uh, we're going to raise the visibility of the tomb wherever you find a DAR chapter. Well, I can I can say from personal experience of having the opportunity to do, uh, I'd see almost half a dozen presentations to some chapters throughout the, the area that I live in. I have yet to come across a more patriotic organization run by women uh, anywhere in the United States and, and, and your passion for being Americans and, and, and the unique um, uh, ways that you can express it. It doesn't matter what your political backgrounds are. It's always a lot of fun when I talk to them because not only are they great listeners, but they have some outstanding questions that put me on the spot and keep me on my <laughs> toes. So uh, keep asking the chapters to reach out to us so that we can do those free educational presentations throughout the U.S. and, and uh, expand that knowledge base to the American public. Uh, I've also seen a huge uptick in uh, chapters reaching out to us about their participation this year in the National Salute. And it's ranging from, from the, the simple things of gathering around a, a, a flagpole, uh, ringing bells, or, or working with uh, partner veterans or organizations in their communities. Um, is there a way that uh, members of DAR or even the public can see some of the things that you're doing when it comes to the National Salute this year? Sure, and, and thank you for, for raising that. Uh, we have a member's website where we have information about all of our 40 committees and their various observances. And so all our, our chapters need to do is actually visit the Commemorative Events Committee website and they will there find resources that will help them to be able to participate in the National Salute. Uh, once we uh, begin to see our chapters and our ladies getting involved and engaged, we will do public relations outreach on behalf of the National Society through all of our social media platforms and all the other opportunities we have to raise the visibility of our involvement in this and our um our willingness to stand up as citizens and say that it is so important that communities come together and recognize the sacrifice of the unknown soldier. I'm, I'm so delighted to hear that you find our ladies to be passionate and patriotic. Uh, people are surprised to know that we are a completely uh, non-political, non-denominational uh, organization. Our motto is God, home, and country. But I like to say that every woman is welcome in today's DAR. Uh, we are a place for anyone who loves America and wants to step 
step forward for what I call a joyful obligation. We, we think of ourselves as the, the living connection between the patriots who founded our country and the generations that will follow us. And so uh, this is a great illustration of why it's so important. You know, I mentioned that we laid that wreath at the Capitol in 1921, uh, and we did so, and I'm going to read it so that I make sure that I have the wording correctly. At the time, my predecessor, the President General, said we laid that wreath to consecrate ourselves to carry on the cause for which the unidentified soldier had so nobly given his life. And really, in so much of what we do in DAR, we are continuing to carry on that cause. We are passionate about our country. Our original motto, believe it or not, was a Latin expression that was literally love of country. We, we changed it later to, to what today we use as God, home, and country. But uh, we are a group of women who love this country, love what it stands for. We're proud of our American ancestors, men and women, black and white, uh, every denomination who founded this country. And we're equally as proud of the diverse tapestry of Americans who live today, who are hopefully going to be out participating in the highest form of democracy by voting in our elections this year. So uh, we're a patriotic, passionate group, and we are, are here to serve on, a, on an opportunity like this is just what we enjoy. Perfect. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk about not only the centennial, but more importantly about the Daughters of the American Revolution and, and what you do uh, all across this this great nation and in the various ways that, that you uh, have outreach. So I again, I appreciate you taking the time today. I know you're a very busy uh, President General. Uh, wow. I, I keep track Thank of you all the time on everything. Can I, can, I, can I give all of your followers and viewers an assignment then? Is, is that you allowed? Can, yes. Okay. Even though we're based in Washington, I'm from New York, so I, I, I notoriously tell everyone I'm very bossy. So I want everyone, uh, as part of this commemoration, to um, find a special time, maybe whether it's Gold Star Mother Sunday or, or some other opportunity during the year ahead, uh, to honor the memory of those who've served, who gave their lives for a nation. Maybe you do it on Veterans Day, whatever fits for you. But my other assignment is I would like everyone watching to please consider doing their family genealogy and joining us in today's DAR. You know, um, everyone seems to be able to find one ancestor that, that, that we can work with that will help you to join our ranks. We're a wonderfully vibrant organization. And for all that we give to our communities, let me assure you, we get so much more back in return. It's so fulfilling to step forward as citizens and be involved in our organization and to participate in partnerships like this. So I thank you for what you're doing and, doing, and I appreciate that you're allowing us to be a part of it. Well, thank you for being a, a perfect partner with us. And I look forward to the next time I'm able to visit you in the new Constitution Hall that you're renovating right now. Uh, it, hopefully it'll be done by 2021. But until then, we'll have to do the Zoom links again. But uh, thank you again for taking the time today. It's grand. Okay, you take care. Be safe. Thank you. All right.